So there you have it, a basic IDOR slash BOLA broken object level authorization vulnerability that affected TikTok. By manipulating the HTTP request that we captured, we were able to swap out the user ID present in the request. And how does a user acquire someone's open ID? Well, it's a little bit trickier than acquiring a user ID, but it was still accessible via accessing the developer API. So this was indeed public information. So in the attack scenario, once an open ID of a victim was obtained, a user could simply swap out the user IDs and the victim would be force linked to the attacker's account. This could lead to unauthorized changes on the account. By just doing the pairing process, a user's display name would be forced to change to the attacker's display name. And this would work on any TikTok account, including at TikTok itself. Since the account is now paired to you, other possibilities could be social engineering TikTok to support and to reset in the account for you, since in their end, it will appear as if you're authorized on the account. In the end, I was rewarded $3,000 by TikTok. Thanks for watching.